on Umbrago Cloud, your projects comes with an app settings JSON file for each of your environments. You can use these app setting JSON files to add environment specific settings to your Umbrago Cloud project. In this video, I'll show you how you can edit these files and how you can push them to your Umbrago Cloud environment. Great, let's have a look together. As you can see here, I'm on my Umbrago Cloud project here and I have a development and I have a live environment. Now let's have a look at our Umbrago Cloud project locally. I've already cloned it down and opened it up in Visual Studio here. If we go to a, over to our files to the right over here, we can see we have the app settings JSON file here. We have this small tick here, but we click on and we can see we have app settings JSON files for our development, production and our staging environment. So in this case, let's say we want to have some settings specifically for our live environment. We can see the settings that we have already in here. If we take a look at the development environment, we can also see some specific settings in here. We of course also have our normal app settings JSON file here. Let's say that we want to have some SMTP settings that we're going to use on my live environment. Okay, as you can see, I'm in my app settings production JSON file over here. Now let's go ahead and add some SMTP settings to our live environment. So first we need to add the global setting here and then SMTP. Cool. In here, let's add uh, from, so this is just going to be from my email. And let's have a host, let's say 25. And let's add a port. And that's of course going to be 25. And the host is going to be this simple SMTP server I'm going to use for this tutorial. Cool. That should be all that we need for this. Let's go ahead and save it. And let's uh, use my Git client here to push it up to my development environment. So let's stage it here and say deploying SMTP settings to cloud. Let's commit the file and let's push it up. Awesome. And let's now wait for it to be pushed up to our Umbraco cloud environments. Awesome. It's now been pushed up to my cloud environment. Let's go and have a look. Let's just update my page here. As we can see, there's one change ready for deployment. And if we have a look, it's the app setting production JSON file. Let's go ahead and deploy this change to my live environment. And once it has been deployed to the, to the next environment, the settings in the file will be applied for this environment. So let's go ahead and deploy the change to live. Great, let's deploy. And let's again wait for it to finish up. Awesome. As we can see, my deployment has now completed. Now let's go ahead and see if our change has been applied to my live environment. We can do this by going to the back office over here, go to the settings section, and under here we can perform a health check. Let's go ahead and do so. For SMTP, it's going to be under services. And if we check the group, we can see that the SMTP settings are configured correctly and the service is operating as expected. Awesome. This means that the settings have been applied on my live environment. Just for good measure, just let's have a look at our development environment just to see whether a lot of the settings have been applied here as well. So we do the same, go to settings, go to health check over here and click for services and check group. And as we can see, SMTP settings have not been configured on our development environment. So in this case, we have only applied the settings for my live environment. Great, you've now seen how you can apply specific settings on different environments on Umbraco Cloud. It's now your turn to go out, develop some awesome Umbraco projects and apply the settings that you need for your specific environments. That's all I have for you in this video. My name is Jonathan and I'll see you in the next one.
Jonathan out.